Oh, right, here we go. Fortnite on Oculus Go. Let's go, baby. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Even all the markers here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to play Fortnite or any other Xbox game on your Oculus Go. So, built in, it doesn't have the facility to play sort of high end games or whatever. They tend to be kind of mobile ish type games. Um, with sort of VR sort of aspects to them. And they are fun, they are great, but they're not the full-fledged games we're used to and we want to play. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do it. Right, first thing you need is your Oculus Go. Stick it on and uh, let's take a look. Right, so we're in the main menu and the first thing you need to do is go over to your apps and you need to download this one called Big Screen Beta. So go to store, uh, let it load, search for big screen uh, let's do that uh, search just search for big screen go and give it a second to load and there you go you've got big screen so click on that give it a download if you haven't already and once you have click open app now big screen is an app that allows you to replicate what's on your PC to your Go headset. Um, so anything you know you can do uh, on your PC, you can see on the big screen. Uh, so here we go, we're in the main menu here, and you can sort of see what in this app, the main thing is that you can join rooms, you can join people that are playing or watching films or whatever, like you can kind of see on the screen up there. You can share videos and content and stuff and sit around a campfire or in a cinema and sort of uh, or a virtual living room and just kind of you know, enjoy it together sort of thing so you can see somebody's playing a game so the way we do that is if you click here there's the option to stream desktop you click that it tells you, you need to go to your windows pc um, and go to this website so www.bigscreenvr.com slash remote desktop all right, let's grab, take the headset off and have a quick look at that. All right, so over onto the PC. So if you go bigscreenvr.com, remote desktop, and here we go. We've got a little bit of spiel about sort of how it's all set up, how it does it, up to 1080p, 30 FPS from your desktop, including audio streaming from your desktop. So people use it to stream films and all sorts. Yeah, up to 12 people in your room, but what we want to do is this bit so how to get started download big screen on your windows pc from steam or the oculus store so if you've got so download the oculus store or if you've got steam go to there download the big screen app from there as well if you scroll down you can see this bit here it's telling you to right click on the app and run it in desktop mode so rather than uh, headset mode uh, you're in desktop mode and for oculus store you right click on the app and you choose start in desktop mode there. So I've got Oculus, and we'll go there. My down, op, open my Oculus app, and we'll uh, take a look. And go to my library. Click on this little three dots by big screen, the app I've already downloaded, and start in desktop mode. So you don't need your headset connected. If you've got an Oculus Rift or anything like that, you don't need it connected to do that. Uh, you can do the same sort of thing as you're obviously seeing via Steam. Does the same thing. And what it does, it boots it up in a sort of non-VR mode. So we give this a second, and here we go. So remote desktop connected. So basically the first tab, all you need to do, first tab, remote desktop, click start streaming. And straight away, you've, st you've created a room in big screen and you can choose some options here. So if you if you click on this button here, you can change the, uh, the stream quality. So they suggest you choose 720p, they are trying to bring in 1080, but 720p low latency for gaming. So it's the best option to be able to get the best sort of um, quality for playing games, streaming from your laptop to the to the headset. So go back and we'll click on the home button again up here and start streaming. And there we go. And connect to your mobile VR headset. So if you click this, it gives you a room code. So let's jump back straight back into our VR headset here, our Oculus Go. All right, so we're back in our Oculus headset. Uh, we've visited the website, we've got it all set up. Now it says join rooms. So you can join rooms, you get the option here to insert room code. So that code that was on the PC there, the 9Q9, K, E, K, B, F, 
No. B, F. There we go. Join room. And there we go, join in room. And you can see once we load in, it'll take us to a virtual room of our cho choice. You can choose the background and the scenery and that sort of thing. Uh, so we've got kind of like a virtual living room going on here. And you can see we've got our desktop up on the uh, up on the screen. So what we can do now is if we just kind of remove the headset just temporarily, move this up to the top of my head. Uh, if we go into this and minimize it, minimize that, and we'll boot up the Xbox app. So I don't know if you know, but the Xbox app, uh, you're able to stream from your Xbox to your PC. So we're doing multiple streams here. Right, you jump across to your Xbox, grab your Xbox controller, go over to settings. So press the Xbox button, right trigger over to the right hand side, go down to settings. Inside, uh, preferences, Xbox app connectivity. There's a few options you need to make sure are selected. So allow play to streaming and allow game streaming to other devices, which basically means let your Xbox stream over to your PC. So as long as that's done, you can go back out to the main menu. And then from your Xbox app on your PC, choose this option down the left hand side, connection. Click on there and you can then stream. So literally, click on the stream button and click continue. Oh, my mouse has disappeared. And now you can see on the PC we have Xbox. So now if we go back into our Oculus headset, you can see in Oculus we now have the dashboard for the Xbox. How cool is that? So now you can just control it just like normal. Uh, and kind of forget that you've got an Xbox going on. So we can click on Fortnite, we can click start, log us in, check our privileges. You can sort of, uh, you can change the background and the surroundings, you can have yourself a big cinema or set yourself around a campfire or invite some friends around, they can watch you at the same time. You can see we've got a controller there. Look at those cool new costumes. Close that and we can click play so let's give it a go see how it, well it works i will sort of say that it's streaming at 720p so on this screen in here it doesn't look too bad it actually looks quite crisp to me i'm not sure how it looks to you but it looks quite good um but the latency is noticeable so i'd probably say something like fortnite probably isn't ideal because you need a bit more twitchy controls uh, to be able to play it uh but here we are, look. Ding, 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 ding. Playing Fortnite on the big screen, baby. Right, here we go. Fortnite on Oculus Go. Let's go, baby. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Right. And I'm going to just jump out as soon as I get the option. Here we go. Jumping out. Whee! All right, and it plays pretty well. There is a slight delay, as I say, there is a slight delay, so it isn't isn't ideal. I don't know whether streaming the PC version of Fortnite would be a little bit better, but uh, you could probably just do that as well. If you've got Fortnite on PC, you could just stream that straight to it, cut out the Xbox, um, the Xbox step. Let's put that gun up. I got it. I got it. Yeah, as I say, it's a little bit laggy, so it's a little bit hard to play. But you can, yeah, you could just download any PC game, do the same. I don't know whether the lag would be better on that. Uh, it may well be. Oh, see, because the control's a bit weird. I ran to a wall. Is there anybody else around here? Or was the only person here? I guess I was. But there we are. There is Fortnite, or Xbox games, any Xbox games really, uh, on your Oculus Go. So there we go, playing Xbox games, or any games really, PC games or anything, on your Oculus Go. It works, 
not perfect, but hopefully it'll get better over time. I know the big screen is in beta, so hopefully it will get better. Uh, but I, I kind of find it quite playable. It depends what game you're playing. Maybe not Fortnite, because you need a little bit more of Twitch reactions. But anything else, I think, will be quite good. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video, you found it useful. Give me a thumbs down if you didn't. I'm big enough and ugly enough to take it. But do let me know in the comments down below what you know what, what your thoughts are, what I could do, what I could have done better. Alright, that's me done. I'm out. Take it easy.